The quality has been your main mantra around every aspect of diet for as long as I've known you. And I think I would add the same around dairy. And so what does that mean to me? And I, I wish they had more evidence to back this up. But when I think about consuming dairy, I, I think it's important to avoid industrial dairy, both for you and the cow and the planet. Uh, well, that's three things. But anyway, <laughs> I also think that if you're going to consume dairy, try to find grass-fed cows, try to find heirloom cows. And there, there are ways to do it. make it an adventure to try to source it. But there are, for example, cows now that are being raised that are A2 cows that are raised on, on diverse forages and grasses that probably makes them more beneficial. Support, and, a, local, support a local dairy. Yeah. And, and lastly, I think, you know, sheep and goat dairy tend to be better tolerated, are less likely to be subject to large industrial practices and uh, have been consumed for a long time. And I know personally, just a little personal anecdote, when I have dairy, I get pimples and I get digestive issues and I get a lot of mucus and congestion. So it's not fun. Uh, but when I have sheep or goat, it doesn't really happen so much. So I think there, there is something to it and I'd love to see more studies on it. But I think if you want to follow the precautionary principle and take care of yourself while enjoying dairy, I would say sheep and goat and uh, there's great goat and sheep yogurts and kefirs also if you want to have fermented products. <laughs>